This video is going to show the basic functionality and a little bit of instruction on how to modify the Reporter plugin inside of Gibbscam 2015. Uh, if you don't know what the Reporter is, we can see here that I have a part it has got just a few uh, operations on it with about six tools. What I want to do is I want to create a report. Some people call it a traveler or setup sheet, something that I can print out, um, put in the file, bring out to the machinist, things like that. If we want to do that, we just go to plugins and then down to reporter, and then we get this pop up. Uh, we can do a part report, so just about the part, about the tools, or about the operations, or we have custom ones. I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, down here, our output file. This is new in 2015. We can output, output directly to an Excel file before it would open up in Excel and then you had to save it. Here, you can just put it wherever you want. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to do a part report. No big deal. Just to show you what it does. Click OK. So we can see that Gibbs automatically opens up Excel and lists everything about that part. You know, the size from the origin, uh, X, Y, Z, max, things like that, finished op, rendering, whatever, things like that. So let's go ahead and close that out. I don't want to save it. So let's go back to plugins and reporter and let's do a tool report. So I have six tools here. We'll just say, we'll just name it the same thing. So this is the one that I would use a lot in the shop. You know, I, I must have killed a million trees with the post-it notes that I wrote down the tools and positions and diameters and all that stuff for here. You know, this is a nice, easy file that you could either email or even this you could probably print out and bring out to the shop. Um, there's a lot of information in these. Uh, it's all customizable. I'm going to show you do that in a second. So right here, let's say, for instance, you know, you load up Gibbs Cam and you want to modify this a little bit. This is the default. So the name is, say, Gibbs User. And you want to get rid of the Gibbs Cam logo. As much as you love us, you'd like to have your company logo in there. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so... The reporter works off of two files. There's a text file and an Excel file, and they work together to uh, create that report. Uh, the Excel file is kind of like the template, and the text file is what goes inside of the template. It actually goes into Gibbs and pulls out information. So if we go to our install folder, and we go to plugins, and then data, and then report. So here is the, there's the path. If you want to track it down, this is on my computer. This is where uh, Gibbs Cam is installed in my computer. It might be a little bit different on yours or it might be on the network or something, but basically it's the install folder. And then you can see here, here's a list of custom and standard. Here's like, for instance, I did a part one, a uh, tool one, and then some specific um, customized ones. So this is what they look like. So here's the, we'll just say big tool, for instance. Uh, this is the Excel sheet. So this is the template. So here's the picture and the part file and all that other stuff. Here's the text file. Now this actually shows what goes into what cells inside of that Excel spreadsheet. Let me open that up again. All right, so let's move this over. So we can say part name. Two, eight. So what it does is it looks for this um, this data inside of Gibbscan and puts it in two eight. Two is the row and eight is the column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where it's going to go. So you can see there's part name, part post. As we get down here, it starts to get a little weird like map string, tool unit, um, tool length, like how do you know what these mean or where to find them if you want to add or get rid of them or things like that. The easiest way to do this is just go into the help menu and search for reporter. And inside of this, once you do a search for reporter, you're going to see some of here like operation commands. Here's a list of the commands that you can put in for uh, custom reports or custom data sheets or whatever you call them in your shop. Uh, there's also, uh, let's see, there's part commands. So anything that has to do with part, uh, here's your X, Y, Z, minimum, maximum, part hardness, if that's in there. Uh, there's comment commands, picture commands, all kinds of stuff. Anything you want to do to customize this. So 
let's talk about just customizing the template for a second. So this is the probably the easiest. Um, this is the easiest type of change you can do now. These are static changes. These aren't dynamic. If you change the template, this is what all your templates are going to look like. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to change this gives cam. So every time I pull up this logo, I want to, I'm going to go ahead and change this picture really quick. This is the picture I want. I don't want to see gives cam. Say so this is the, the picture of my logo. Let's just go ahead and save it. This is as easy as it is. I just save it and then close it out. Let's close this out. So now when I go ahead and I run the reporter, I'm going to go to custom and that was logo. You can see now that I have my custom logo inside of this. Um, that goes for any of these static um, inputs. Uh, for instance, you could do static, you can have a company name line, again, username, things like that. Anything that's inside of this template, you can just go ahead and change in that Excel file. Any of this data that you want to add or subtract from, you have to go into that text file and modify that text file. So that is uh, just a really brief introduction to Reporter and where to find the files and the customization for it if you ever want to make custom setup sheets, or reports, or travelers, or whatever you guys call them. If you have any questions about uh, Reporter or plugins in general, just feel free to give your local reseller a call or reach out to Gibbs Camp Support.